up again later. Earlier on today, I tried a delicious, uh, it was a mushroom-infused truffle burger. And I've always wondered where you get truffle from. So what is that exactly is truffle hunting? Well, traditionally, pigs were used to sniff them out in the forests of France. But did uh, you know that the dogs can also be trained to become truffle hunters? We followed a few trainers and truffle hunting poachers uh, on a hunt to find out more. From the rich South African soil comes a myriad of fresh produce. A few enterprising farmers, with the help of wood fruit truffles, are now aiming to add one of the culinary world's most sought-after gems to our homegrown goods. Truffles are known as an underground mushroom that grows on the roots of a variety of trees, but oak trees, helix or English oak, are usually the ones that we find it growing on. The flavor and the pheromone that's in the truffles is the same around the world wherever you grow them. And people that have tasted truffles, they always want them again. Truffles are very expensive. At one euro a gram, you have a 50 gram truffle, and all of it is used, skin and all, uh, that's 50 euro. Multiply for rands by 14 and a half, it's silly money. These underground mushrooms are worth around 22,000 rand per kilogram, and the costs are even higher when imported. While we do have an indigenous truffle, there's a specific variety sought after by chefs. There are natural truffles or a relative of the truffle, which is called Naba, which is the Kalahari truffle, which, is, which grows naturally in South Africa and was eaten by the Koye, and a lot of people are still harvesting it and using it. But the European Perigord truffle is imported inoculated onto oak trees and planted out into the right climatic conditions so we can actually grow truffles now in orchards. We've got lots of areas in South Africa that are very, very suitable for truffles and we're busy building them. Along with developing truffle orchards, it was also necessary to develop a truffle hunting animal. Traditionally, pigs are used to hunt truffles in Europe. However, truffle dogs are also used to find and help retrieve these little gems. We looked at how truffles are found in Italy. They've got special dog breeds that they use for that. They were a long time ago hunting dogs, it's a lagot. Um, but they're expensive to import and we felt that wasn't the way to go. We needed a breed that we can control here. We looked at long-legged Jack Russell and Beagle for the nose, the Jack Russell for stamina and cheekiness, and they've got absolutely everything. We bred the first batch of dogs, and uh, my dog trainer and, and good friend Trevor Norris and his wife are looking after them and have very successfully made the dogs search for truffles in various orchards for us already. The first pair of these unique trufflers, as they're called, are named Bonnie and Clyde, and it took a year of training to teach them to sniff out truffles. A good truffle dog, we start with a baby dog that is a couple of weeks old and we check which, is it playful, has it got a nose, show that some flavor, whether it's meat or whatever, do they follow it if you show it around? That dog is a potential truffle dog. The crux of the matter is in the end whether it'll take the training. So a truffle dog is only ready in about one and a half years and the prime truffle dogs are six and seven year old and it's fantastic to watch a dog work. It's really beautiful. It shows where the truffle is with its paw. It sits down, it gets a little tidbit as a thank you, and then you go in and take the truffle out yourself. Look here, Bon. Funny. Look at this. You are so clever, my dog. You won't believe what I've got for Hey, you. look at that. You <laughs> won't believe it. Fantastic. Look hey, that. look at that. Mona. That's amazing. Just that. Smell that. Brilliant. Smell that. It's wonderful. Amazing. Now that, that is real Perigord truffles. Tuba melanosporum. That's what we've worked this e field for, and the dog found what we're looking for. Amazing smell, amazing smell. That's what, what the dog finds there. <laughs> so wonderful. The first truffles. Well, well done, done Bonnie. Hey. Oh, man, yeah. clever girl. What a clever girl. Hey. Oh, yeah. When you found that puppy that you want to train now uh, to be a, become a truffle dog and being suddenly very, very valuable, we like to use a ball, a tennis ball even, you put a sock into it, you put some of that oil into it, you know, a rag, put the oil into it, and you hide that. First of all, you play with it, you throw it for the dog, it becomes a game, it brings that truffle flavor back to you again and again, and eventually you bury it, and the dog must find it and let you know where it is. Then you train the dog not to hurt that or bite that truffle. It must show you where it is, sit back, get a tidbit, and you say thank you, I'm taking the truffle out now. It's very important to keep your truffle dog in top form. 
an unhealthy dog or an unwell dog is not a good truffle dog. It doesn't like to work in the orchard. So we get the vet to prescribe collars that he finds suitable for that dog or pour on liquid to stop the dog from having fleas, ticks, all these things. And it's also not nice to travel with a dog in the car that's full of that stuff. For these hard-working animals making a name for themselves, protection is important. And that's why their owners rely on Bob Martin. Well, a dog that can make me 40,000 rand a killer is a dog I want to own. Today, we're giving away another hamper to the value of 500 rand, courtesy of Bob Martin. All you have to do is SMS the keywords Bob Martin, your name and city, to 33728 to stand a chance to win. Now, remember, those SMSs are uh, charged at 1 rand 50. The T's and C's do apply and are available on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. So make sure you guys enter now. Now, after the break, we take a look at some luxurious skincare products, and we get some advice on how to manage eczema in babies. Don't go anywhere. Show them how much you love them with Bob Martin. Hello YouTubers, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got full episodes available for you. All those really cool interviews we've done, all the cool performances are right over there for you. So all you have to do is click subscribe. It's somewhere over here on this side of my face. Click it right now, do it.